Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about significant figures or sig figs for short. Our goal is going to be to express numeric quantities with the correct number of significant figures to explain how accurately we know a number and also how to read significant figures correctly. So to begin with, what are sig figs? Well, it's a manner of showing which digits in a number are known to some level of certainty or exactness. For example, if you find a garden gnome and you measure its height, you could write down its height several different ways. 14 centimeters, 14.3827482, and on and on number of centimeters, or 14.0 centimeters. What do these different numbers mean? Well, measuring with sig figs is pretty straightforward. First off, write down as many digits as you can with absolute certainty. Then, take a look and see if you can't estimate or take your best guess at one more figure. When you've done that, write down your answer. You will have written the correct number of significant figures in your measurement. Now, reading significant figures is slightly more complicated, but still fairly straightforward. First off, we'll start with the value that's already in scientific notation. Then, all non-zero digits are significant. All digits between any non-zero digits are significant. Now, zeros to the left of significant digits are not significant. But zeros to the right of significant digits are significant. Let's go through a couple examples so maybe those rules will make a little bit more sense. How many significant figures are in the value 43.74 kilometers? Well, in this case, we have one, two, three, four non-zero digits, so we must have four significant figures. If we take another example, something like 4,302.5 grams, how many significant figures do we have? Well, we have four non-zero significant figures, and we have a zero between significant figures for a total of five sig figs. If we look at a number like 0 .0083 seconds, how many significant figures do we have? Well, you have to remember that zeros to the left of any sig figs don't count. They are not significant. So we have two significant figures here. And for our last example, written in scientific notation, any zeros to the right of significant figures are significant. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs and 1.200 times 10 to the third kilograms. If instead we had written 1.2 times 10 to the third kilograms, for that value we would have had two significant figures. So we know this value to a couple more decimal places to a little bit more accuracy then we know the lower value. So next steps, I would like you to try and practice measure and express the following using significant figures. Try and measure the length of your hand, the mass of a pencil, and the amount of time required to pat your head 20 times. See how accurately you can measure those and then express your answers in significant figures. And for more information, you can always check out aplusphysics.com. Thank you.